I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and welcome back to Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. Part of the Swiss Alps are pictured in this image from Sentinel 1A, acquired on September 11th of 2015. Near the center of the image are the lakes Thun and Brienz, with the city of Interlaken between them. In the upper right section is Lake Lucerne. In the lower central part of the image, we can see the Aletsch Glacier, the largest in the Alps. The glacier originates in a large, flat area of snow and ice high in the mountains, called Concordia, where three smaller glaciers converge. Switzerland's three famous Eiger, Munch, and Jungfrau mountains rise north of Concordia. The Aletsch Glacier extends south, and its meltwater creates the Massa River in the valley below. Glaciers in this region are showing long-term retreat from climate change. The melting ice has given birth to new lakes, which pose risks such as flooding and landslides to communities below. Radar imagery can be used to generate precise elevation models and can also detect deformation over landslide, seismic, or subsidence areas. Radar can also support impact assessment for many types of hazards, such as geological events. Sentinel-1's radar has the ability to see through clouds, rain, and in darkness, making it particularly useful for monitoring floods. Images acquired before and after a flood offer immediate information on the extent of inundation and support assessments of property and environmental damage. Sentinel-1 is a two-satellite mission. Sentinel-1A was launched in April of 2014, while its sister, Sentinel-1B, is set for launch on April 22nd. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Summer Time. Watch us on our website at www.esa.int. From the ESA Web TV Studios, have a great day.